sweetie that I bought from Aldi and this is actually sugar free and I've got here different flavors so this is actually a mini gum and I usually have one piece and um, not every day just whenever they fancy a sweet so you've got here the orange one and uh, that tastes like orange that one is a strawberry and then you've got the lemon and like what I said I got this one from Aldi as you can see in there sugar free mini gums and you can see artificial colors and it says flavorings or preservatives and you can see there the um, nutrition information you've got the fat which is 0 0.5 saturate 0 0.1 gram sugar is 0 0.5 grams and salt is 0 0.01 grams which is actually good and here look at the back we've got this from Aldi and everything you want to know about this sugar-free fruit flavor uh, mini gums and I tell you what guys I thought before I'm a bit skeptical to try it because I thought it would be horrible but I tell you what you can't taste the difference if you like gummies you can't taste the difference with this one and this only cost me 45p and it's quite a lot it's a big bag actually you can see in there uh, like what I said if you like gummies I um, highly recommend this one they're actually you can't see taste the difference and they're just the same so there you go it's worth to try guys enjoy hi guys we have here a sweetie that I'd like to uh, show you I bought this one actually um, from Aldi as you can see in there it's called Dominion sugar free creamy butterscotch and this is a delicious tasting without the guilt and as you can see in there it amounts is per two sweets and you've got here 75 kilocalorie 18 kilocalorie as greater than one percent and here you can see everything that you need to know about the product and it says in your sweeteners and as well as sucrase and single cream we've got milk in this one as well everything about it sugar free butter scotch flavor sweets with sweeteners and they're only 44 grams and this one like what I said is, is suited for vegetarian as well and they're only 40 pence actually from Aldi and I tell you what guys they're really good so it looks like this actually that one there and I've already tasted them before I already had them and I highly recommend them and you can't actually taste the difference from the normal sweets that we get and um, considering that this is a sugar free so there you go and um, likewise that you can get this from Aldi enjoy guys this is night time we're having some stuff here we're having mixed um, nuts we've got walnuts we've got um what do you call that different kinds of nuts i can't tell all of them i've got here as well twiglets and the same as seeds and an apple with soy milk enjoy guys I'm making um, um chili con carne here but i'm going to show you how i made my own um chili sauce so it's from the um fresh tomatoes actually and I'll mix it together with half tin of the half tin tomatoes as well and that's what I usually do I just mix them together this is two tomatoes by the way 
and then I'm just gonna put it in here and then blitz it together and then you can add pepper salt if you want to taste because like what I mentioned I don't use the one that are like in the in the bottle the one that you can get the ready meat is because the reason for that at least I know what's inside and for us diabetic you know yourself you always look at the carbs and as well as the sugar content so the more safest way is to really make it your own so that's what we're gonna do so that's two tomatoes there fresh tomatoes I put a bit of water and then we're gonna put this one which is this is the tin tomato so I'm just gonna mix them together in there and then we can blitz it and then yeah like I said you can add whatever you want like pepper if you want salt and um, and then that's your sauce so I'll show you I'm gonna blitz it first so the tomato guys are blitz set and yeah and with that one you can just add whatever you want you can add pepper you can add salt and then I use it as well this is the sauce as well I made or I use when I made the spaghetti bolognese which is a lot better because like what I said you know what's in it you know there's no sugar because the one in the jar you'll see the nutritional information is a lot of sugar in it so yeah so that one and it's so easy and it's so quick to make and obviously we're gonna use here red kidney beans I've got here as well onion and garlic and pepper strips and of course our mince and then now we can make our chili hi guys this is the 29th of october 2020 and we're having tea and we're having your stir fry and we've got different kinds of stir fry veg chicken breast and um, as well as noodles i want to show you guys this noodles i bought this one from the chinese supermarket which is that one there and i tell you what guys this is very good because look at the sugar and the carbs in there it's very very low so it's really good um, and they're not expensive as well and you can use them like many times there you go and very easy to use as well the instructions at the back you just boil the water and then put this one and then that's it and then join and mix it together with your stir fried veg that one there and I got this one from the supermarket Chinese supermarket guys this one and as well I use this one which is a stir fry powder and this one is called mamacitas and this one as well is available in the Chinese supermarket so all of this you can buy and they're really good as well they're not very high in carbs they're not very high in sugar and they're really good for your stir fry and yeah so that's it so just a stir fry veg and where you can get in the pack and as well as chicken breast and I just mix them together and this one I boil this one then I mix them together so that's our tea for tonight by the way our blood sugar today has been 5.5 and 5.4 so it's been good enjoy guys and of course don't forget your water hi guys this is tea time and we're having tonight our blood sugar is 4.7 and we're having here kale we've got here celery sticks and in here this is very interesting guys this is the first time i'm going to try this pasta and it's made of beetroot and lentil see it's different and with our spaghetti ball guess what we make our own sauce as well and um, we mixed the canned one we only put a little of that you know the canned tomato you put a bit of that and then two fresh tomato blitz it together and then we put some uh, mixed herbs as well as peppers garlic and mince with that one that's a beef and pork mince by the way and yeah so we make our own pasta sauce and i tell you what guys they're really good i highly recommend them making your own because at least you know what sugar content that you put in your food because the one in the jar they're actually loads of sugar so yeah, next time I'm going to show you how I make my pasta sauce. There you go guys. And last course, don't forget their water. Enjoy guys. Hi guys, we're having hot chocolate here. And we're using Bourneville cocoa powder. And that one, the sugar and this content is very low. And we boil the hot milk and then we pour a teaspoon of the Bourneville powder. So that's our hot chocolate. Enjoy, guys.